Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So if you are preparing for the upcoming CSI NET exam uh, in December 2025, so I believe that by this time you are almost finalizing your preparation. That means you are summarizing the chapters or whatever you have studied, you are just trying to finishing them up. And now is the time when you will start the other things like revisions and other things. But I thought of making a video where I can talk about that what are the topics which have been asked on a repetitive manner in CSRNet so that you can consider these videos as a checklist uh, when you are uh, finalizing your preparation you can just tick mark that whether you have completed these topics or not okay. So in this video we will be talking about those topics from physical chemistry. So consider this video as a checklist for physical chemistry and after watching this video you can just make a checklist if you are considering physical chemistry as one of the topic of your preparation so make sure that you are completing most of the topics from this particular video okay i have tried to consider only those topics which have been asked multiple times also i have tried to compare or make a list of them in a order of most prior or most important to the least important from that particular topic so in next few minutes i'll try to cover these topics and that's what we are going to talk about so let's start with the first topic of physical chemistry which is solid state chemistry okay so if you start with solid state chemistry the first topic which you have to do is a unit cells and lattices now this is the topic from where a lot of questions are asked uh, like uh, the topic itself is a big one which include like uh, uh, the density related questions then the number of particle or number of atoms per unit cell related question relationship between a and r related question so these are the one which you have to cover then comes bragg's law this is most important equation you can say from solid state chemistry point of view if you have covered bragg's equation solved a lot of questions related to that then you are good to go for this particular topic the next thing is miller indices again miller indices has been asked many times in csi net exam miller indices in few case if in case you don't know how to do them there is a video from my side like you will find most of these physical chemistry I have taught them on the YouTube channel okay so you can find them out already on YouTube channel so yeah uh, Miller indices is again an important topic the next one is band theory band theory is you can consider it as the end of solid state where you have different questions coming from like uh, uh, the con conditions or the concepts of uh, insulator conductor and semiconductor then doping comes over here uh, then uh, there are different concept of like Fermi levels and all so try to cover all these topics if you are covering solid state so solid state you can consider as a combination of these four major topics uh, there are some small small topics but these are the ones which have been asked on a repetitive manner so try to finish them if you are preparing that right now let's go to the next topic which is chemical kinetics when we talk about chemical kinetics the first thing which comes in is rate law equations of course this is the basic of chemical kinetics where you have to deal with different rate law equations starting from 0th order reaction, 1st order, 2nd order, up till 3rd order. You should also know the equation for nth order reaction, how to find out half lifetime and all the related stuff comes in this particular rate law. Okay, So this is one of the topics from where a lot of questions have been asked. So this becomes the most important topic from chemical kinetics. Then comes Arrhenius equation. Again, Arrhenius equation tries to relate your rate constant with temperature and that's the most important part of Arrhenius equation. Try to finish that, try to cover that, try to solve a lot of questions from different different types where you have a comparative uh, Arrhenius equation where you have T1, T2, uh, one of the values given and the other one you have to calculate based upon K1 and K2. Then there is a logarithmic equation. You should know the graph, how the graph goes, what is the intercept how what is the like um, what is the uh, like intercept and what is the slope of that graph so try to finish all these things if you are preparing Arrhenius equation next comes your integrated rate equations now here is when you have equations like rate equations in which you have a and a naught like final concentration and initial concentration these are integrated rate equations basically the part of rate law equation itself but here uh, like instead of basic calculation or basic things it becomes a little complicated to solve it because here you have two different rate equations or two different rates given at two different times and you have to find for the third time so try to do all the types of rate equation or rate related questions if you are preparing uh, chemical kinetics then next comes is collision theory this goes a little in the advanced part of chemical kinetics again uh, the weightage of collision theory is of course less than compared to the questions which have been asked from rate law or Arrhenius equation but again you can have a uh, question from collision theory certainly 
so collision theory includes like uh, there are different types of like, there are different collision theories are uh, different equations are there like uh, your uh, lindman theory of unimolecular reaction comes over there uh, then you can also consider the enzymatic reaction in this case uh, then there are uh, different types of uh, chemical reactions or different types of reactions which comes like your parallel reaction your uh, like consecutive reaction uh, competitive reaction so try to finish all of these most of these videos are available on my youtube channel in case if you want to finish them in quick time in 30 minutes all those videos are there you can watch them and you can also practice questions along with me by the end of the, that video uh, then comes your transition state theory. Transition state theory again is an important topic uh, which includes uh, like concept of uh, uh, like how these uh, like transition takes place or how uh, the, the transition state basically forms and how the rate uh, basically changes from your product side, reactant side to the product side depending upon the energy barrier and related stuff. So try to finish that also. When you're studying transition state theory, be very specific to study the thermodynamics part of it, okay? Uh, that is also very important and how transition state theory relates uh, like a particle function with it, okay? So try to finish that as well because it can be asked in a creative manner in the exam. Okay, let's go to the next topic, which is electrochemistry. Again, this is also important and easy topic. You can say small topic of physical chemistry. Uh, start from the Nernst equation. That's the most important equation from your uh, electrochemistry. A lot of questions are asked every year from Nernst equation. So if you're preparing, you should be good at solving questions from Nernst equation. One tip to solve questions from Nernst equation is always try to balance reaction before you go for Nernst equation, okay? Or before you try to put those values in the Nernst equation. So always try to uh, like uh, balance the equation. Next thing is your uh, electrochemical cells. So uh, like equations related to the cell constant or the formula related to the cell constant and the concentration, uh, how they need to be solved. So try to do them as well, uh, where your Kohlrausch law also comes. Next is your debye huckel limiting law or debye huckel theory. So how the ionic mobility or how the ionic charges in the solution, how they affect the electrochemistry of the solution. That is again an important topic. Try to finish that as well. Conductance, as I said, like the equations, like how conductance and resistance are related, how it is related to uh, concept of uh, like uh, cell constant and all that comes over here. And at the end, ionic mobility. So there is just a very simple equation uh, like uh, which relates to ionic mobility with the concentration of different ions in the solution. But it is very important because it can be asked in different forms. Like there could be more than one ions in the solution and how they are interacting, uh, a hard, so, uh, like how a strong acid or a weak acid ionic mobility is affected with each other. Try to cover all of them if you're preparing electrochemistry, okay? Next thing is surface chemistry. In surface chemistry, the first topic is, of course, adsorption isotherms, like different adsorption isotherms, which you cover, Langmuir adsorption isotherm, BET adsorption isotherm, try to finish them as well. Uh, then comes your catalysis. Catalysis is an important part of solid state, uh, so, sorry, of your surface chemistry, where uh, you talk about that, how a catalyst provides surface, so that surface reaction can take place and uh, the reaction can basically proceed. Uh, then comes your surface tension related uh, like theory. So your surface tension mostly has theory part in which uh, like you need to study about it that how surface tension plays different roles in uh, governing the atmospheric pressure or how various different factors are affected by surface tension. That's an important thing. Okay. And then comes your micelles, which actually is an extended part of sur uh, surface tension itself. Because when you study surface tension, uh, of the solution, how micelles affect that. That has been asked like once or twice in CSI net exam. So be very careful about it when you are studying. I have made a very interesting video on micelles. So try to watch that in case if you want to learn about them in short time. Okay, next topic is your solution and uh, colligative properties. Okay, so this comes like the basic of physical chemistry. Things which you have studied in class 12th or in your bachelor's. Those are the things which covers, which are covered in this. So osmotic pressure related equations and how to solve questions related to them. Then your Rawls law, like different uh, like calculations and different numericals based on them. Uh, numericals based on vapor pressure and uh, how depression in freezing point and elevation properties are affected by each other. Okay. Next comes your thermodynamics. This is one of the like I would say the largest or the biggest chapter of 
physical chemistry now in thermodynamics of course you have to study the laws of thermodynamics and equations and how to derive them how to solve numericals based on them uh, all the laws of thermodynamics plus uh, there are some uh, thermodynamics equation of states so try to cover them as well like thermodynamic first equation of state and second equation of state then comes your spontaneity and entropy so how entropy can be defined uh, by the second law of thermodynamics and how entropy is related to the randomness how it is related to the number of micro states so try to cover that as well it's not a big topic but it is very important and still like it can be asked in a, con in a ma manner that can confuse you in exam so be ready with that then free energy related equations like free energy gibbs free energy helmholtz free energy uh, so how what are the equations of them how they are related to the entire thermodynamic system that becomes important topic uh, then comes your maxwell relation it's a very important topic okay maxwell relation is something which you should know how to solve them or you should know all the maxwell relations i have made a very shortcut video yeah, like that is available on uh, like youtube you can just search maxwell relation and the name of my chapter which is all about chemistry you will find out my video where i have covered maxwell relation in a shortcut manner like you can derive all the 16 maxwell relation by that particular video so it's a very important video in case if you want to prepare maxwell relation in very short time okay the next thing is thermodynamic cycles of course like different cycles like uh, uh, Carnot cycle uh, and then comes your uh, thermodynamic refrigerator so how do they work how the work uh, like how the total work is calculated how the efficiency is calculated and numericals related to that one thing which i forgot to add over here is uh, like the the application of thermodynamics which is basically uh, where your phase diagram or phase rule comes okay so that also is an important topic a lot of questions are asked every time so make a note of phase diagram especially if you are covering that try to cover uh, like single phase system in which you have to cover water carbon dioxide and sulfur okay so these three are important single phase system minimum is this is what you should do okay next comes your statistical thermodynamics again which is an important topic uh, which is related to thermodynamics in a statistical thermodynamics the basic thing which you have to cover is particle function how it is related to different things then comes your Boltzmann distribution law, the most important law, how it is related to partition function, how to calculate that. Uh, at least you should know the basics of them, okay, if you are preparing it. And then canonical ensembles, like different ensembles are there, uh, grand canonical ensemble and uh, like micro canonical ensemble. So know about them that what are the conditions of these ensembles, uh, what are the things that remain constant in these ensembles. So yeah, that's something which you have to cover from there. And then connecting partition function to thermodynamics, that's where your statistical thermodynamics uh, get connected to your uh, like classical thermodynamics. So try to cover that part as well. This, these four topics can cover the, your entire statistical thermodynamics. Next is one of the bigger chapter again, which is molecular spectroscopy. Starting with your rotational spectroscopy, so everything related to that. Start from the condition or the selection rule for rotational spectroscopy. I have way till end of calculating the uh, like probability distribution or uh, the value of J max in the case of rotational spectroscopy. How to find out the energy level, how to find out energy difference. All these things should be clear to you. Okay. Uh, then comes your vibrational spectroscopy again the same thing starting from the uh, like selection rule till uh, how to calculate the energy differences of different vibrational levels also try to cover if you are covering vibrational spectroscopy try to cover overtones in this okay so you have first overtone second overtone try to cover them as well okay the next thing is Raman spectroscopy one of the more most important part of your molecular spectroscopy so how to find out uh, the stokes line anti stokes line how to find out the distance between them if your Rayleigh line is given uh, like what is the distance between two stokes line distance from the Rayleigh line to the stokes line uh, if the value of Rayleigh line is given how you can find out the values of stokes line how you can find out the values of uh, anti stokes line what is the height or what is the intensity of those stokes and anti stokes line everything should be clear to you okay not only that you should also be aware about uh, the raman spectroscopy behind uh, the uh, diatomic molecules okay so try to cover that as well then comes your electronic spectroscopy in which the concept of jablonski diagram comes in so what are these transition state what is inter system uh, like uh, crossing what is internal conversion what is fluorescence what is phosphorescence all these things should be covered over there okay 
and then of course reference selection rule for all of them this is how your major part of your uh, like uh, molecular spectroscopy will be covered okay the next topic is quantum chemistry quantum chemistry includes a lot of things but we will only talk about major things from where you will get quotient so starting with Schrodinger's equation you don't have to remember Schrodinger equation but the application part of it is important uh, how it is used in chemistry or how different systems are used in chemistry from Schrodinger equation like the solution of those Schrodinger equations that is important like particle in a box and all the other stuff of course particle in a box then your harmonic oscillator these all are solved based upon Schrodinger equation so you should know the Schrodinger equation like um, uh, like uh, h psi is equals to e psi what does it means what is uh, like what are operators and what is uh, um, I mean what is the Egan value and Egan function of them and if you understand that then it becomes easy for you to understand particle in a box harmonic oscillator and uh, then your uh, rigid rotor okay hydrogen atom problem and different operators as I said so in quantum chemistry operators are most important thing so uh, what are the formula for different operators how you can find out the value of operator if a wave function is given to you uh, by calculating the Egan value of that so yeah these things should be covered from you and then commutators uh, like what commutators are why commutators are so important in uh, in quantum chemistry and different quotients related to them like commutation of x and px shortcut related to them all these have been covered on my youtube channel okay you will find almost everything which i have discussed till now on the youtube channel you just need to write down the name of the topic and the name of my channel and you will get my video where i have tried to explain the concept in easy and effective way so in case if you want you can definitely cover them okay Next is your group theory, which is one of the easy topic, I would say. If you are good at drawing, if you are good at imagining things in 3D, this chapter is one of the most easiest chapter for you, okay? So the first thing is point groups. Of course, you need to understand about symmetry operations and all to understand point groups. But how to find out point groups or what are the point groups related to different molecules? That is important. Then quotients related to character table, uh, in under which you will have quotients like... Uh, uh, where great orthogonality theorem is also a part of character table but in under character table you will see quotients like to find out uh, Raman and uh, IR modes then transition between two states whether it is X polarized whether it is allowed by X polarized Y polarized or Z polarized or it is not allowed so all these things have been covered on the YouTube channel please try to watch them in case if you want so yeah character table is an important topic and then yeah our concept of IR and Raman active modes and the last topic where I have tried to like rewrite all the small topics which comes like polymer and nuclear chemistry. So calculation of your MW, MN and MV which is weight average molecular mass, number average molecular mass and volume average molecular mass. Then your degree of polymerization and concepts from your nuclear chemistry where actually nuclear chemistry a lot of things are related to uh, like kinetics because there also you try to find out half lifetime. So try to do quotients when you are doing chemical kinetics try to do kinetics of nuclear reactions as well and try to study nuclear chemistry from a from different perspective like how a particular atom is going to be uh, like a particular electron loss or uh, a proton capture what a new molecule it is going to make so that comes in the nuclear chemistry part of inorganic chemistry but when you are preparing inorganic chemistry or when you are preparing nuclear chemistry you don't see them as inorganic or physical chemistry try, try to combine everything and study that okay because it is very interesting to talk about nuclear uh, molecules and how these nuclear reactions take place okay so yeah these were certain topics i tried to make them in a short video where i can talk about most of these topics from physical chemistry which have been asked on a repetitive mode in csr net exam in case if you are preparing for the upcoming csr net exam i believe that this video can become or can behave as a checklist for you so yeah try to finish all these chapters in case you want to introduce or if you want to contribute and write down some more topics you can let me know in the comments i'll try to pin your comments so that those who are reading them they'll get to know that there are, these are a few more topics that can be covered from physical chemistry do let me know if you guys want more videos like this on inorganic and organic chemistry as well also uh, do let me know if you guys want me to make a strategy video for the upcoming 30 days for csa net exam so yeah that's it from my side for this particular video i will see you guys in the next one till then have a great day bye bye take care